Hello guys, here we are on another trip for Kincaid Crafts. Our YouTube channel will be known as Kincaid Special Creations, as you will know if you're watching this video. We're currently working on barn quilts. Uh, the backstory to the barn quilt was I had purchased a dining room table and six chairs from a lady at a yard sale, and we were on our way to pick them up at her place. And on the way back, I noticed at a barn, there was a big, beautiful piece of wood that had a, had a quilt pattern painted on it. And I just really liked that idea. So I come home and I did some research, and I found out they're called barn quilts. And you can make them, display them inside your house or on your outside. It's up to you how you want to do it. So we decided for our Kincaid craft class um, that we would have everybody to attempt to make one and it was wonderful that will be coming up we will show you bits and pieces of that as the time goes on everybody made an absolutely beautiful quilt block they all chose different ones they all chose their own colors they all chose their own time to work on it we just had a really good time so I'm going to do the back story on how to get started making your own barn quilt. I had a book of quilt blocks, which I'll show you. Let me turn you around. There it is. 365 foundation quilt blocks. Bought many years ago thinking I was gonna make a quilt, I did not. So the one I'm gonna show you or the one I'm gonna work on you for you today is this, it's called a Petite Star. It's in the July version my daughter did that one and did a very fine job at it. My sister did one as well, and she did a very good job. But I want to make one for me for next next uh, season when summer comes in so I can display it then. So I'm going to take you along for the journey. I'm hoping that we do well. My daughter painted these or cut these wood blocks. This one is 12 by 10. And you have to take and make the pattern basically off the one that's there but make it fit your piece of block and that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to sketch out a pattern with my pencil and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like at that point I'm going to work on seeing the pattern here we go I'm going to turn you around here is what it looks like and here's what I've converted it to look like all I've got to do is paint in those little squares. And I'll bring you along in each color that I get painted. I think I'll probably do the dark blues, the reds, and the whites first. And then fill in all that blue with some stamping of some white on it. See you in a bit. I wanted to show you what I'm doing. This type of brush is very important for making line paintings. Because if you're going to paint inside of a line, it just really makes it easy to keep your paint, for the most part, on the side of the line that you want it to be on. So, if you're going to do this type, this barn quilt, I would invest in a, in a good set. And you don't have to have an expensive set of brushes. There's brushes like this that they sell at the Dollar Tree, but they also sell them at Dollar General, and they're like $6 a package, and you get a lot, a lot of uh, brushes, different type brushes. Now, do I know what they're all for? No, but I know this one's doing the job. I'll be back when I get the red painted. Here is the first part. There is the red done, just like that. So, I'm getting, as you can see, I'm getting ready to start on the blue. I'll be back in a minute.
Hello again, guys. I finished my painting, went out, carried the shelf out, did a little organizing in the craft room since I get it all organized. And it's time for another craft room tour. I will put mine up. I'm just trying to work on getting some labels done, just some little last minute uh, arranging done so everybody can find what they need when they're out here crafting. Right now, I'm going to turn you around and show you the finished product of the barn quilt that I worked on. It turned out almost the same as what the one was in the book. I just put American Strong on it because I know that America is strong. Until next time, we'll see you in the YouTube land. Bye-bye. This is kind of what I started with. I have... Um, excuse my dog. She's like wanting me to come in the house. She's fussing at me. Anyway, I started with these boards because all I have was maple. Um, and I really didn't want to use my good boards. So I took some of this maple that had, you know, pieces, um, that I would need to cut out. And then, of course, in my little stock here, I had some pieces little pieces left over, that kind of thing. I tried to see what I could use of my scrap wood. Um, and I was able to get some different sizes. Uh, I have a smallest size here, eight by eight. Um, and then it goes up to, I got a nine by nine. I have some eight by tens. Um, that's pretty thick. It's gonna have to be planed a lot to match the rest, but uh, I was able to go up to a 12 by 12, 9 by 9, 10 by 10, 12 by 10 even. Uh, my planer will only go a 12 inch, so I couldn't go any above that, although I probably wouldn't have been able to anyway. So I do have 20 of them. That way, whoever comes to do barn quilts, they can be able to pick out the size they want to use. You can figure out which block you want. 
mm -hmm. and then put it in there and then you know that from this corner to this corner is this big triangle then from this corner back down to that triangle is the one you have to do so then you can draw them in you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i just did it clear so we could see through it mm -hmm. and then i mean we can always take an exacto knife and cut a little slit in it mm -hmm. oh. did you see these yet these are the other ones are we, are look at this one. Oh. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, look at this one. Oh, I'll show you the one I wanted. Which one are you going to do? I was going to do this one. So. Oh, look at Lady Liberty. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, what do we have to do? Because I'm not crafty at all. That's okay. We are going to try to draw the pattern onto a block of wood. Oh. So and here's your block of wood. So you can either draw it on or I'll have painter's tape. Okay. So whichever pattern that you pick out, then you can put your line of painter's tape down here, here, and here. Then paint this color hard. and this color. And then oh, take so your painter's tape out. Oh, I like or that. Or leave it even. It's hard. You know, <laughs> or it looks hard. However you want to do it. Other side, oh, the other side nice. Very cool. Bam. <laughs> and this is how we doing it. You know what I mean? We're going to paint the triangles. There's a pearl. That's all I really need. I'll paint this back. You know? It's going to look good when it's done. That's right.